Hi everyone, welcome to our lesson about buying an accordion or buying a used accordion or buying your first accordion. Uh, in this lesson I'm going to discuss where to find a used accordion or where to buy your first accordion and then what to look for when you're buying an accordion. Uh, all the things that I'm saying in this lesson you'll find in the description uh, and also as a downloadable document. So, you know, don't, you don't have to take notes. Uh, now, I've owned a few accordions and in this lesson I'm going to teach you um, sort of how to find an accordion either for free or let's say below $300. If you can afford a brand new accordion over $1,000, uh, that's great. The tips in this lesson will apply to that, but this is more towards someone who's just starting out with an accordion or who's looking to buy an additional accordion. So, uh, let's start off with the where to find an accordion. Um, my big idea with instruments, with any musical instrument, is to rent before you buy. Uh, if you can, try out the instrument before you invest some money into it. So where do you find it? My first suggestion is to look for family and neighbors and your community. Uh, someone had a grandparent or a parent that played an accordion, put out a little flyer, go on Facebook, go on your community message board and ask if anyone has an accordion that you can borrow. Uh, that way, you can actually try the accordion before you buy it. Uh, failing that, you can rent an instrument. Uh, in my country, in Canada, there's a store called Long & McQuaid that will rent out an accordion for about $25 a month. Uh, I'm sure there are other stores across the States, across Europe, uh, that will rent out an accordion. Uh, again, somewhere around $30 a month here in North America. Uh, failing the option to rent or borrow an accordion, you can buy an accordion. Uh, what are the options there? One, if you got an accordion from your neighbors or your family, uh, buy that accordion. You've already tried it on, you've already been playing with it for a few weeks. Ask your neighbors or family if you can buy the accordion from them. I'm sure they'll be happy to see it go to good use. Uh, the other option is to buy online. I bought two accordions online. Uh, sites like eBay, sites like Craigslist, Kijiji, whatever your local um, area online site is, uh, see if you can buy a used accordion online. And I'll discuss in the later part of this video what to look for. Uh, go to a used instrument store. Uh, in Toronto, we've had, we've had, we have lots of instrument stores, used instrument stores. Uh, it means you can go to the store and try, uh, and try the instrument. Uh, and the last option is to buy a new instrument. That's from a music store or an accordion store. I've listed some in the description. Uh, it's the safest option. It's also the most ex uh, expensive option. Uh, so that's uh, where to find an accordion. Now, what do you look for when you buy an accordion? Uh, the first thing to look for is what the accordion sounds like. And I'm going to wear the accordion. Always wear the accordion. Um, as you would when you play it. If that means sitting down, sit down. For me, that means standing up. So the sound of the accordion, what does it sound like? Press some keys. Is this the kind of sound you want for the kind of music you'll be playing? Are you playing French music? If so, look for that musette sound. Right? Uh, is it pleasing? Listen for any buzzing of the keys. Try the right hand and the left hand. Watch one of my tutorials and then, you know, try out uh, the keys. Uh, if you don't know how to play accordion, bring a friend with you uh, and have the friend play the accordion. And that way you can see what the accordion can sound like. If you're meeting the seller, ask the seller to play a song for you. Uh, the seller maybe knows how to play accordion. Uh, if you're looking at online listings, send the, the seller a message and ask them if they can play the instrument and send you a sound sample. If they don't know how to play, just ask them to play all the keys so that you can listen uh, to what the sound, sound sounds like. Uh, next thing to look for after sound is to make sure that all the keys work on the left hand and on the right hand. That means taking your hand and and going down all the keys on the right hand, up and down, and trying each one of these voices. So an accordion might have three, two, or none of these buttons. Try each one. 
right when I pull and then when I push. You're looking for keys that don't stick. You're looking to make sure that all the registers make noises and that they make different voices. If you have registers on the left hand, try the same thing. I know it's silly, but you really want to try and do this. You're looking for any keys that are stuck or that don't come back right away. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, if there are stuck keys, it means that you can bargain down the price a bit, or just you might want to avoid the instrument if you don't want to put any money into it. I keep looking down because I have my, my notes there. Uh, the next thing to look for uh, after the, the registers and the voices is if the accordion smells. So smell the accordion, especially here around the bellows. Um, what does it smell like? This, this just smells like a new instrument. This is, a, this is a new accordion. You're looking for any moldy smell, anything that smells like it's been sitting in an attic for too long. Uh, one thing, you're going to be wearing it on your clothes, so you don't want your clothes to smell too much. And two, if there is any mold, uh, this is probably going to disintegrate. You don't want that to happen. It's probably not good to breathe. Uh, while we're here, let's talk about the bellows. This is really important. Pick up the instrument, wear it. The bellows is where the air is contained. You want the instrument, the bellows, to not open. Mine are opening very slowly. It's okay. It does mean that there's a leak. Now, there are two places that the bellows can leak. One is here on the outsides where they connect to the instruments. That's not terrible. It means that probably the gasket needs replacing. It's about a $40 uh, replacement. I, I'm okay with mine. Um, if... Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, how do you find out where the air is leaking? Um, Pull the instrument very lightly, it's not great for it, and see if you can listen to where the instrument is leaking. Mine is leaking from around here, so I can tell it's the gasket. If the instrument is leaking from the middle, which mine is not, that means that somewhere in the bellows there's a tear or a rip, uh, and replacing a bellows is a few hundred dollars, so it may not be the best instrument to buy if there is a leak. Um, also visually examine the bellows, make sure that there's no rust on these metal pieces, Make sure that this tape is not disintegrating. Make sure that the bellows are somewhat clean, that there's no uh, water damage or mold in between uh, the bellows. Um, and again, don't push too hard without pressing the button here, but you want to make sure that air doesn't leak uh, profusely too much. That's what we need to learn about the bellows. Next, learn about the straps or take a look at the straps. My straps um, are ripped in multiple places. Uh, and I've replaced them with a screw. It's fine, it works, but it'd be great if your accordion has some solid straps without any tears uh, that fit you, just so you can start playing the instrument right away. Uh, new straps, you can fa uh, fashion them yourself, uh, but they can cost up to, you know, $100 and more. Uh, next, that, something that's really important is the size and the weight of the accordion. Wear the accordion, you're going to be holding it on your shoulders. Don't just judge it by holding it. Uh, the way to judge an accordion's, cover, uh, an accordion's size is the number of buttons and on the right and left hand. So all accordions or majority of accordions should have six buttons going up and down, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you multiply that by the number of buttons across, or really this is up and down. So here I have 12. 6 times 12, this is a 72 button accordion. Uh, that's fine. The smallest accordion, uh, I would say, is a 48 button accordion. Uh, it's a bit more limiting in what you can do with the left hand. And because it's smaller, you'll also have a smaller keyboard on the right hand. The larger accordions, the 120 button accordions, uh, those will allow you a bit more freedom. They weigh more, but you'll also have a bigger keyboard. So if you are soloing or playing big melodies, uh, you will have a bit more freedom. Um, something to watch out for, this one has six buttons. Great, going up and down. Uh, the minimum number of buttons here, I would say, is four that you want. Anything less, and you're starting to really constrict yourself with majors, minors, and sevenths. Yeah, uh, in my past, I've had four accordions, which you could see in my, my YouTube tutorials. Uh, the first accordion I ever bought was $200 Canadian. The second accordion I bought, the red one, was $300. The third accordion, the black one, was $450. A lot of the sounds didn't work, but it was a great accordion. And then this one, the Weltmeister, is a new accordion, 
and I traded in another accordion for it, and this one was $1,000. It's very light, and I really like the sound. Um, in terms of brands to look for and watch out for, I've used accordions from, that were made in China, my red one. I've used this, uh, I think it's a German one, this Weltmeister. Uh, Italian accordions, the white one, you're learning an accordion, it's totally fine. Uh, I've been told to avoid Chinese-made accordions. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed my, my Chinese-made accordion. Uh, if you have any questions or want me to look at a listing for you, uh, send me an email, send me a message with a link, and I'll be happy to, to let you know what I think. But again, follow those steps, really, for online listings. Ask the seller if they could record a sound sample for you and take some pictures of the bellows. That will really make a big difference. Uh, yeah, hope you have a really nice day. Bye-bye.